Right, today we're going to look at uh, filling a new screen, uh, a Givi screen, um, a D322ST to a Honda PCX. This is the smaller of the two screens available from uh, Givi and uh, can be bought for under £50 uh, in the UK. Right, first of all, what you have to do is remove the old screen. It's not so difficult, but if the uh, first thing you do um, is locate two screws up and underneath the screen there. Uh, you get those off first, so we'll do that. After loosening the screws, you need to take the front trim off. Uh, as you see, you've just got a wee screwdriver in, and it should leave right easy. And there you go, everything's off there, and just slide that away. Right, that now exposes the four main mounting bolts, as you can see from this side. Um, four main mounting bolts. Uh, their 10mm socket should release them. Now with all the mounting screws uh, taken out, the screen should lift clear away. Uh, and then uh, what you would do then is take the little rubber grommets uh, and, and put those onto the new screen. So that's what we'll do. Right. Next. What you do now is set the new screen in place and just put in the, the four bolts, and that's pretty much the screen fitted. Uh, all you do is put the new trim back. Well, that's the screen pretty much fitted. All we have to do now is put the little trim back on and put the two screws in. So do that now, and that's the job done. Now, with the trim back in place for a job that takes three, five, ten minutes, you have quite a, a difference in profile in the bike. Quite a tall screen. Um, you can see her from the dash there. That's uh, quite nice. And say delivered to the house for less than fifty pounds from Double Direct. 